Today's video is the third in a series on effective searching. Today's topic is truncation. Truncation is yet another way that you can expand your search and thus find more results. Truncation works by finding variations of your search term. Typically, to truncate a search term, you use the asterisk. You can think of truncation as using root words. So you have your base word or root word that when truncated will expand into variations of that word. If we truncate behave after the V, then we would get all sorts of variations of the term. Behavior, the word behave, behavioral, behaviorism, and even variant spellings like the British behavior with the U. You do have to be careful where you truncate a word. It's possible to truncate a word too far back. We'll see that in an example in just a moment. Let's take a look at a search. Here we are again in one search, and let's try some truncation. Let's say we're interested in different therapies available for breast cancer. We might search for breast cancer as a phrase, and then we'll add the word therapies. Let's imagine that we were disappointed with over a million results. One thing we might do is truncate some of our search terms. In this case, an obvious candidate seems to be therapies. If we were to truncate therapies after the P, then we would get words like therapy, the singular form, therapies again, but we would also get therapist, therapists, therapeutic, and other possible variations of the term. So whereas before we had 1.18 million, you can see that we found almost 200,000 more results. Let's see what happens if we truncate too far back though. So an example might be if we were looking again for therapies for breast cancer, but we decided to truncate after the E. This is obviously not going to be very effective because we'll find words like theater and theism in addition to therapy and all of the different variations of that word. Obviously, we wouldn't want to do this. We would simply find too many irrelevant results. You can see that we've now almost doubled our initial search. I would say that in the majority of searches I conduct, there's at least one term in there that I can truncate in some form or fashion so that I find variations on the word and increase the number of results that I find. 